So let's understand the concept of interval trees. So interval trees is also an augmentation over arbitraries, which is used to maintain the set of inform intervals provided uh, by some application. So the interval trees are used to maintain the set of intervals okay so the set of intervals for example time intervals for example some time intervals are there so i just draw some time intervals and try to store this time interval in the arbitrary so suppose the given time intervals are Uh, uh, so I just draw it here. I have time interval from seven to ten, then some five to eleven, five to eleven. One interval is from fifteen to eighteen. the interval is from 17 to 19 one interval from 21 to 23 and uh, one interval given as 4 to 8 so it is just 4 to 8 4 to 8 so these some intervals are given now the query over these interval is we need to find an interval so we need to find an interval over the given intervals uh, interval uh, in uh, we need to find an interval set into overlaps of given query intervals into overlaps of given query intervals okay so we need to find out the overlapped interval from the given intervals so the methodology for the uh, for the solution of this approach is we need to select a data structure which is efficiently store the provided information and because it is a search type query the bst would be the efficient data structure and in the bst we can uh, we have seen that arbitrary performs uh, performance is best among these all bsts so the arbitrary is taken as an uh, data structure to implement this problem now what type of additional information is stored so in like in the previous video lecture if if for kth order statistics in the dynamic set we use the size of left and right subtree as a uh, as the additional information here for this for the solution of the problem we use a value m as an additional information and the value f is the largest value of the interval okay so it is nothing but it is uh, uh, the largest value m the largest value in the subtree rooted at node x okay so what is the largest value for example let me draw a tree here so suppose the tree which is given is uh, from 17 to 19 I store this information in one node so I can use the low and high of an interval as a key value for the one node and here I need to mention the value of M so I just fill it later and the second interval which is provided is 5 and 11 
so i just see the lower well low value of interval according to the low value i manage the bst tree now again because 4 is less than 5 i put 4 to 8 here this is the one possible uh, representation of the given intervals you can also have different representation for the same problem now then we have 15 18 similarly here it is 7 and 10 then on the right hand side of this we have 21 and 23 with some m value okay so let me color this uh, whole tree because it is arbitrary uh, colors are important so some nodes are black some nodes are red so the black nodes are this is the black node this is the black node uh, this is the black node and uh, this also black node and the red node is uh, two uh, nodes are red one is here and one is here two nodes are red so the value of m the value of m is maximum of either high value of the interval of x or the m on the left part of x or m on the right part of x so let's start with the lower node the m value here is 10 because from the left and right part uh, there is uh, no high interval so this is the maximum interval in these three nodes okay for the 15 and 18 node the right part is not there so we just check whether this 10 which is greater between this 10 and 18 so 18 is greater so 18 will be the value of m similarly for this node 4 and 8 the 8 will be the highest value for these three nodes 18 will be the highest value for this one 23 is the highest value and for this one 23 is the highest value so the value of m is 23 so uh, so this is how we store the information so if uh, on the same tree if you want to search any uh, interval overlap so we need to define a search procedure so let's write the algorithm for the search procedure so suppose i just write the interval search pseudocode here uh, so interval search mm, uh, interval is passed here as i okay so this will search pressure find find an interval that is overlapped i okay so in this uh, information let me change the color so the search procedure start with a pointer x which is pointing to the root initially then we will look for while this x is not equal to nil and uh, the low of i low of i means the interval which is to be checked is greater than high of interval of x so high of interval of x means x is pointing to the given interval so if your low of i is greater than high of interval of x or if low of interval of x is greater than high of i okay so now these two conditions are checked for those cases where i does not overlap x interval okay for those cases where i does not overlap so if i does not overlap and x is not equal to nil then enter into the while loop okay so in the while loop we do if 
द लेफ्ट ऑफ एक्स इज नॉट इक्वल टू नेवी एंड लो ऑफ गिवन आई इज लेस देन इक्वल टू एम ऑफ लेफ्ट ऑफ आई लेफ्ट ऑफ एक्स देन वी गो टू द लेफ्ट पार्ट सो एक्स विल मूव टू द लेफ्ट पार्ट else it will go to the right part so x will go to the right part okay if while is loop is false then it will return the x value so outside the while it will return the x value so let's execute the same pseudo code on the given tree so this is the given tree if uh, i want to find out the interval 14 and 10 so this is the value of i and this is the low of i and this is high of i so we start the processor from x which is the root node and we go uh, till this root node is not equal to nil or uh, any of this condition satisfied dissatisfied so these two conditions satisfied when we does not overlap the node okay so in the first case we know that low of sorry low of i so low of i is greater than high of interval of x so low of i is 14 first is x is not equal to nil and we know that low of x means 14 is uh, 14 is uh, greater than high of interval of x so 14 is greater than 14 is greater than 19 condition false and the second condition says that low of interval of x means 17 is greater than high of high of i so yes so second condition says that 17 is greater than high of i means 14 yes 17 is greater than 14 this condition is true this condition is false so because we have a or operator the whole condition will be true and we will enter in the so we will enter in the while loop inside the while loop we have checked that whether left of x is not equal to nil so it is not equal to nil we check whether the low of i is less than equal to m of left of x so low of i is 14 we check the 14 with the is 14 is less than or equal to m of left of x so m of left of x means 18 so 14 is less than equal to 18 years so we go to the left part now again because x is not equal to nil again inside the while loop we check the lower bound upper bound and uh, check whether the uh, this uh, low of i means 14 is uh, less than m of left of x so m of left of x 8 so we check whether 14 is less than 8 so this condition is false because this condition is false x will move to the right part okay now because x is moved to the right part again x is not equal to nil check for the overlap go into the while loop check whether 14 is less than or equal to 10 so it is again false 40 is, is not less than 10 so x will go to the right part so right is sentinel node so x is pointing here so because x x is nil so because x is nil so it will exit from the loop and return the uh, left of x is nil so it will return the 15 and 18 as an interval so this uh, 14 and 10 is overlapped in 15 and 18 so this is the one of the interval so this processor will return any one of the interval any one overlapped interval not all intervals it will return any one of the overlapped interval so in order to find out the 
k overlapped interval in the same uh, same uh, root is uh, apply k times so while do the analysis of the uh, same because uh, this interval search processor will take order of n like uh, order of uh, log n time why order of log n because the height of the tree is at most order of log n and we need to scan for the element from root to the leaf nodes okay so this is the time of uh, worst case running time of for the interval search and this will result into one element search of the one interval in which the given interval is overlapped to find out the k overlapped interval the running time would be k into log n it would be order of k into log n because uh, first we need to delete that element from the uh, tree so we need to delete an element so deletion take order of log n time then after that we need to find call the uh, interval search on k times and for each time it require log n time so uh, the total time complexity is equal to k log n plus order of log n for the deletion and uh, this will result into the order of k log n thank you very much